great to follow on from the, the member for Burdekin and his contribution because listening to the member for Burdekin, you probably wouldn't uh, surmise, Mr Deputy Speaker, that this is another Labor surplus budget. We've delivered an another Labor surplus budget, Mr Deputy Speaker, and of course, th this isn't the first Labor surplus budget, Mr Deputy Speaker. 2018, Labor surplus budget, Mr Deputy Speaker. 2017, Mr Deputy Speaker, Labor surplus budget. 2016, 2016, Mr Deputy Speaker, another Labor surplus. We're walking back in time now. 2015, another Labor surplus, Mr Deputy Speaker. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, it's five surpluses, five to nil, Mr Deputy Speaker. My favourite Ashes scoreline, Mr Deputy Speaker. But of course, let's, get, let's compare it to those opposite, Mr Deputy Speaker. And of course, we had the architect of some of these failed budgets I'm about to speak about there, Mr Deputy Speaker, the member for, uh, what, what is he now? Broadwater, I believe, Mr Deputy Speaker. So let's, let's talk about the 2012 LNP budget, Mr Deputy Speaker. Deficit, deficit, failure. 2013 budget. You were on CBRC, weren't you, member for Broadwater? 2013 budget. Another deficit. Two out of two. And how did you, how, how did you go in 2014, member for Broadwater? Member for Stratton. Member for Stratton, you might address your uh, comments through the chair. Thank you, and, Mr um, Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. So, I, I, I believe, I believe that the current member for Broadwater, Mr Deputy Speaker, was part of a government that delivered another deficit in 2014. So 5-0, my favourite Ashes scoreline, Mr Deputy Speaker. When you look at the LNP, it's none out of three. The worst state of origin scoreline, Mr Deputy Speaker. The worst state of origin scoreline. No wins and three losses, Mr Deputy Speaker. And of course, we had all the, the backbench going feral there when I opened my remarks, Mr Deputy Speaker. The LNP has not delivered a budget surplus in this state for over 20 years, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm not sure the member for Budwin was even born when the LNP, when the Conservative side of politics in this state last, last delivered a, a, a budget surplus, Mr Deputy Speaker. Yet, Speaker after Speaker uh, from those opposite have, have come up here and, and purported to, to, to lecture us on fiscal and economic management, Mr Deputy Speaker. Yeah, federal. Yeah, that's exactly right. I, 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 I take, I take all those, I take all those interjections from the minister. Mem Mr. Member for Stratton. Member for Stratton. Have a little bit of calm in the house. Thank you. Back to you, Member for Stratton. Thank, thank you, Deputy Speaker. I, I can understand why everyone's getting carried away, Mr. Deputy Speaker. But of, course, but of course, Mr Deputy Speaker, when the, when the Deputy Premier delivered her budget surplus, her second budget surplus in a row, the fifth budget, fifth budget surplus in a row of this government, Mr Deputy Speaker, we had all those documents piled on our desk. We had huge kilograms and kilograms of documents, Mr Deputy Speaker. And then, of course, we heard the budget reply from the member for Nanango earlier today, Mr Deputy Speaker. It, it, it was heavy on criticism, Mr Deputy Speaker, and very, very light on detail. And it got me, it got me thinking, Mr Deputy Speaker. Member for Stratton, um, Member for Burdekin, Member for Nickland. <laughs> Keep your comments to yourself, Member for Stratton. You have the thank, call. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And my friends to my right would be very interested to hear this because I'm about to table a document I don't think either of them have read, Mr Deputy right. Speaker. And I had to do a lot of research to come up with this. It's called, it's entitled Our Economic Plan by the Liberal National Party, <laughs> Mr Deputy Speaker. Blink, if you might have missed it. Interestingly, there's actually no mention. I take all those interjections from the member for Budrum. There's no mention of you or Budrum in this document. And then, Mr. Deputy Speaker. <laughs> so, interestingly, Mr. Deputy Speaker, it was released. I'll, I'll table it, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I'll table it, Mr. Deputy Speaker. It was released on the 14th of June uh, last year, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Quite a curious date at the, at the effectively the conclusion of the budget debate. Uh, for the benefit of um, those on this side of the House and probably those on the other side, it's only 37 pages, Mr Deputy Speaker. 37 pages, 37 pictures, Mr Deputy Speaker. There seems to be more pictures than words, Mr Deputy Speaker. But look, Mr Deputy Speaker, I, 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 the few words that they were, I, I, I did read them. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, you'd think an economic plan would mention tourism, wouldn't you? you think, 
Guess how many times, Mr Deputy Speaker, the LNP economic plan mentions tourism, an important pillar of the economy? You got it. Member for Townsville, zero. Not once does tourism get mentioned. So, so I, 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 take, I take all those interjections from the... I take all those interjections from the member for which Sunday, because he, 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 was, he must have had input into this back when the plan... He was still a member of the LNP back, back then. And I've got, I've got to say, Mr Deputy Speaker, it's really strange. Guess how many times mining's mentioned in the LNP economic plan, which is still current, by the way? Two times. Two times. Two times 37 pages, Mr Deputy Speaker. Coles also mentioned two times. This is where it gets really interesting, Mr Deputy Speaker. Tra trade's a really important part of the economy. It's a really important part of Queensland, Mr Deputy Speaker. You wonder how many times trade's mentioned in the LNP economic plan, Mr Deputy Speaker. It, guess, guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker? It's mentioned four times. Trade unions are mentioned four times. Trade's mentioned no times, Mr Deputy Speaker. That just shows their priorities then, Mr Deputy Speaker. Their priorities are wrong. But guess, guess what, Mr Deputy Speaker? We, you know, we've, 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 heard, uh, we've heard a few diatribes about um, you know, being against renewable energy. Gre green, the word green is actually mentioned four times. So the word green, Mr Deputy Speaker, is, worth, is, is mentioned twice as much as the word coal and twice as much as the word mining, Mr Deputy Speaker. Very, very interesting, Mr Deputy Speaker. But I don't like to give too much, uh, I don't like to give too much advice to those opposite, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's not in my nature. But I have to tell you, it's, it's almost a year since you've released your economic plan. I've got to tell you guys that there's a typo on page 17. There's a typo on page 17. So when you talk, when you're talking about your commitment, when you're talking about your commitment to the environment, you, you talk about how you support Queensland's renewal energy in, industry. I've got to tell you guys, me, member for Broadwater, it's called it's called the renewable. It's called the renewable energy industry. Mr. Member, member for Stratton, member type, for Stratton. Member, member for Broadwater, we don't need cross-chamber quarrels. So, member for Stretton, we don't need cross-chamber quarrels. Back to you. Thank, thank, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And towards the end of this document, the economic plan, Mr Deputy Speaker, they, they tell us who they really don't like, Mr Deputy Speaker. And it's really strange because I haven't heard one member of those opposite uh, mention who they don't like. So, so, they, they, this, they, 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 this is who cops the most criticism in the economic plan, Mr Deputy Speaker. They don't like billionaire international movie makers and they, and they don't like craft brewers, Mr Deputy Speaker. Oh. Member for Stratton, member, member for Stratton, member for Budroom, you will be warned if I have to call your name again. You have been non-stop. Member for Stratton. So, so, Mr Deputy Speaker, quite clearly, if you, if you read this document with the member for Broadwater's typos that he's had a year to fix and failed to fix, Mr Deputy Speaker, the biggest, the biggest threat to Queensland are international movie makers and craft brewers, Mr Deputy Speaker. I, I, I really don't know what to say, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's an, un, it's an unbelievable document, Mr Deputy Speaker. But look, in, a, in, a, in the time I've got remaining, Mr Deputy Speaker, I want to talk about some actual important initiatives in this budget. As, as, as opposed to, to some of the nonsense that's in the economic plan that those opposite have put forward, Mr Deputy Speaker. Of course, there's fantastic funding for Stretton State College. There's infill of 10 spaces. There's a new building at Stretton State College, a new building at Runcorn Heights State School, another fantastic school, Mr Deputy Speaker. Also refurbishment of Block B at Currabee Special School, a new library outdoor learning area at Currabee State School, a new sports courts upgrade at Runcorn State High School, and there's also, Mr Deputy Speaker, $530,000 allocated across six schools in the Australian electorate for maintenance in schools throughout the 2019-20 financial year. We've got fantastic schools in Stretton, Mr Deputy Speaker, and it's fantastic to see initiatives in each and every state school in my electorate, Mr Deputy Speaker. And of course, there's ongoing funding, Mr Deputy Speaker, for a performing arts centre at Stretton State College, a new building including 20 general learning spaces at Stretton State College, and also a new building including 19 general learning spaces and one flexible learning space at Sunnybank Hill State School. Mr Speaker, I'm also very pleased in this budget, talking of education, to see 
the funding that's been put forward for Acacia Ridge TAFE, and I was there for the open day last week, Mr Deputy Speaker. There's a $2 million investment in training infrastructure to create a heavy plant automotive centre of excellence at Acacia Ridge TAFE, and also $700,000 investment in training infrastructure to caravan training facilities at Acacia Ridge TAFE, and also over $30 million in capital safety and maintenance investment in training infrastructure at Acacia Ridge TAFE. Mr Deputy Speaker, in conclusion, these are the things that matter. It's not about talking about craft brewers and, and movie makers. It's not about silly typos. It's, it's, not, it's, not about, uh, it's not about failing to mention tourism. It's not about failing to mention trade. These are the things that matter, Mr Deputy Speaker, and I commend this budget to the House. Mr Speaker. Just wait for the House to settle down. Very good.